So with one of the biggest weekends in South African fashion about to kick off here in Cape Town, you, you might have picked up a bit of a, a menswear flair today and with good reason. Expresso has an exclusive now with the South African menswear fashion week profile coming your way. It's the only platform dedicated to menswear on the African continent. So a golden opportunity to see some of the best in the business. And it's going to be hitting the runways this evening with the autumn winter collection with designers from across the globe. So we're going to give you just a sneak peek, gentlemen. Welcome so much. Thank you so much for coming through this Thanks morning. Well, yeah, Gilmore yeah, Timoyo, nice. League of Rebels, making yeah. an unbelievable yeah. name. Yeah. Nkulaleko Nkube from Arakani, welcome mm -hmm. to it. And Tavatsa, uh, Tavatswa, sorry, my brother. Moyo <laughs> from <laughs> Kid Hunter. Gentlemen, welcome to it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, it's, it's, this is a big, big show. It yeah. is, it is a big show. And it's freaking cold. Where's our coffee? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we, we want it to rain. Maybe oh. this is a good sign, man. This, this is a sign of, of good yeah. fortune. I absolutely love it. Um, so um, it, it really is an opportunity now to showcase the very best. Yes, um, so yes. what are you excited about menswear fashion week? What, what, why is this such a golden opportunity? Uh, and why have you traveled so far to be here, man? I mean, for us, uh, League of Rivers is from Texas, Austin, in the US. So this is our first time coming to showcase in the African continent because our founder is from Nigeria. And we're really excited to be showcasing in Cape Town. This is like the capital of fashion in Africa. So. Um, for us, it's just to share our stories, our craftsmanship, our fabric integrity, and also just to tell, um, to cater for the luxurious man and the easygoing man. Uh, what, what sets the brand apart, do you think? What sets the uh, brand apart is that we cater for a different audience. So we go from the luxury, and from the luxury, we move also to just, you know, something that is easy to wear. So you're coming from the office, and then when you're going out, you're able to just turn up a few things and then look good. Just the make time. a few touches. Yeah. And the gents do look good yeah. this morning. I love it. The, the steel in the eyes. You can see he loves what he's wearing. Absolutely cool, man. Um, and Kulaleko uh, from Zim. Welcome, my brother. Thank you so much for joining us. Where is the Zimbabwean mindset when it comes to fashion compared to a South African mindset? Are, are, are you seeing a very similar thread at the moment, uh, inspiration, or is there they're quite a difference? Uh, I, I feel like they're really different um, because we're in, both in different spaces in terms of e politically and economically. Yeah. So our influences are, are different. So And then our cultural... South Africa has got a broader cultural base and then Zimbabwe is there. So I feel like um, they are very, very different. But then we are all trying to... We're all working in yeah, the same direction, we're working, we're working in the same direction and... So yeah. where is your headspace at then at the moment? What, what's inspiring you? What comes out in the fashion, man? Um, currently, with, especially with this collection, it's not really about inspiration. It's about what the collection is about. And it's about bringing awareness to mental illness and um, homosexuality in the black community. I so that's this, what the man. collection is all about this time around. So what a platform to be able to get now. Yeah, and, and exactly. All exactly. eyes are here. There is a novelty around South African fashion, around Southern African fashion, around African fashion. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, that is really, really cool. Tafadza, let's Tafadzwa. Sorry, man, I'll get it right <laughs> no, before okay. the end of the show, man. <laughs> Kid Hunter, also a Zimbabwean label. Are, are you? Do you have that that co consciousness behind what you're doing? Where where is your headspace at now, going into a, a, a show like tonight, man? Well, um, you know, when when we were working on this collection, we we really just trying to um, bring out that boldness. I mean, you know what's been happening in Zimbabwe in terms of politics, and I think. Um, our courage and our bravery has been suppressed for many years. And I think um, because of what happened last year, in the last quarter, um, we really wanted to bring out that boldness. So it's really about boldness and, you know, that bravery going out to the world and, and, and making it happen. I love it. Talk us through what your models are wearing here, yeah, man. So um, I decided to go with, um, with this neon um, Dutch orange color, which is all about, you know, being bold. I mean, you'd rarely see... Um, many people rocking these, these, these sort of colors. So I really wanted to be, you know, bold and, and show people that, you know, it's doable. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of um, European um, influence in, in the actual design, the construction of the garments. But, um, you know, in terms of color, we really just wanted to bring out the boldness. And, yeah, I absolutely love it, man. It's, it's statement pieces, and, and you've got to make it accessible to an international market as much as we are driving sure. Um, sure. an African um, uh, you know, flavor. Absolutely love it. I'm going to ask um, uh, Gilmore for you to take us through some of your gents here and what they're wearing. How does this typify what you've got on show at Fashion Week, man? Um, so starting with this one here, obviously, we, I spoke a little bit about we are more about the craftsmanship. So we, our fabrics are very uh, cool fabrics, and we just want to bring about uh, the luxurious side of it but at the same time, the easy going. So you see that with this green outfit. And um, 
we didn't put a tie or a bow tie on purpose because we want our gentlemen to feel like jealous in terms of the fabric, the quality, but at the same time, they need to feel at ease. Because, you know, our day-to-day -day men, um, this is cool, this is gorgeous. Uh, our day-to-day -day men have so many tasks, uh, just like women also. Yeah, so you man. want people to be easygoing and they don't want to feel like they're carrying so much fabric on them. And this is what we try to put across. I mean, it's just pure class, man. I absolutely love it. Um, and then Nkula Leko, maybe you can take us through some of the designs you've got on show here today. Perfect. So, as you can see with this one, we're playing around with a lot of denim this time around. Yeah. Uh, and then we're also bringing color into the collection. But if you, because have you seen previously with our collections, it's always been black. So now we're trying to bring in color and then play around with a lot of detailing. You can see, as you can see, shoelaces and eyelets everywhere. Yeah, man. Yeah. And then we've got like all the branding on the, on the, on the jackets and statements. There's always statements and messages uh, about the whole collection in terms of, as you can see on this jacket, on the on the side there, it's a message. It's a message you have to read there. It's about homosexuality and mental illness in the black community. So that's what we're to about this time around and playing around with denims uh -huh. and track pens and everything like that. Oh, dude, I'm, the, the work speaks for itself, most yeah, importantly, yeah, which is absolutely sure. amazing. Thank you so much for coming up, for putting your hearts out there in the way that you're doing. Um, I think you've taken on board that this is a very important thing that you're doing here. Sure, it's not yeah, just about sure. being commercially viable, yeah, but course, it's about course. inspiring other designers and inspiring an industry to take notice of what we're doing at this neck of the woods, man. So enjoy that showing. Thank and you. Enjoy the platform that you've been given, deservedly so. Gentlemen, thank you so, so much. Hopefully Thank that's you. inspired you for Menswear Fashion Week.